almost ready, you guys. Let's see. I'm trying to. There we go. Oh my gosh, where did I put my rock I'm painting? I'm excited but I think I'm more nervous so let's see I don't have the same rock so I'm gonna use this one because it's longer hi Nancy I hope that's you and Terry so I'm just gonna wait just a couple more seconds not very long though are you at the lake still, Nancy? All right, I got the volume up on my iPad so I can see you guys' comments. I saw your video today, it looks beautiful. I'm a little bit jealous. Wow, there's 17 of you. Will I be bringing my resin stuff to the party? Um, no, because it takes 24 hours to dry. Um, so we wouldn't be able to do it there um, because it can't be moved. So once you coat it, you have to like let it sit for 24 hours. So let me, let me go over the colors that you're gonna need just in case. Um, all right, I'm getting messages. Just in case you um, are going to try to do it with me or you're going to do it later. So uh, I'm going to go over the paint I use and then I have Craftsmart paint as well. And I'm just going to kind of go over maybe some color equivalents. Hi Trina. Okay. So yeah, I'm sorry Terry. It takes too long. I mean I can bring it and show you guys what it looks like. but can't do it so okay so you're going to need like a turquoise type color so this is the one that I'm using and I think you could probably get away with like um, just like a turquoise uh, some type of like greenish blue more on the blue side though so I'm gonna go ahead and put this out And then the next color, I'm gonna use two blues. I'm thinking um, I'm using an ultramarine blue. Um, and then the equivalent, I think this bright blue is gonna work. Any type of darker blue is gonna work for you. So I'm not gonna use a lot of that. So I'm only gonna put it out just a little bit. Um, another color, oh shoot. Put away one of my colors I need. Um, is a phthalo green. Um, gosh, I think this grass green is going to work just well. Just as well, so. Gonna put that out. Let's see. Uh, a yellow. I think a bright yellow. Just not too dark for yellow will work. I'm using a cadmium yellow medium. There, if you want to see. Um, my brands of paint are all over the place. I do you like Grumbacher a lot and Windsor Newton? Um, I paint a lot of canvases, so it didn't make sense for me to buy different types of paint. Let me see. I'm trying to read some comments too. Oh. Oh my gosh, I went river kayaking once after some lessons and I flipped the kayak there and that's pretty scary. I don't, yeah. So blue, blue, green, yellow. Um, 
I'm using this bright, it's called an opera rose. It really is just a really bright fluorescent pink, okay? I don't have an equivalent, but if I was gonna use Craft Smart to do this, um, I would just use a light pink. So I got like, bright pink. Um, a reddish color. Now, I picked this one from Craftsmart. It's just red. It's, it goes a little bit more pink. Um, I'm using a magenta again. I didn't have an equivalent. So, and this is just Artist Loft. So, brilliant magenta. And I think, looking at the colors. Oh, and a white. So, um, yeah, I got Liquitex Titanium White. So whatever white you have. Um, as a backup, just in case your colors don't make a good purple, I would get a dark purple out. Um, sometimes reds and blues that you have don't don't work. Yeah, the somebody said pretty pink. That Opera Rose is great. Um, it's really transparent though, so. And you'll you'll see that in a minute. So for the brushes, I'm using a small, if you know what a filbert is, it goes as a, to a little bit of a taper. So this one's getting kind of munched, but and munched I mean well used. What type of paint do I use? Okay, I am all over the place with paints. Um, I use every brand out there. So I got Liquitex, um, Windsor Newton, Grumbacher. Uh, Reeves. Um, I also use a lot of student grade. Um, well, they call it student grade. Now, see, it's Academy Acrylic. It comes in this tube. So I'm all over the place. Um, I don't use a lot of craft paints anymore because I, I mean, I bought them. I have them, but um, I, I paint a lot of canvases, and so it didn't make sense for me to use different paint on the rocks. So, um, but sometimes I do pull this out and, and use it especially if I don't want to mix the colors and I buy a lot of folk art, deco art. So, okay, John, I'll see ya. Gotta sleep, so. Oh, we're going over brushes. I'm using this little tiny, um, it's just a zero round. I believe it's a zero. Oh, three over zero round, because I'm lazy. And don't take off stickers. That's a little tiny zero somebody gave me at a paint party. Thank you very much. I can't remember who. And a big flat brush. So I gotta move my paint water over here. Um, I'll try to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing um, and I'll try to show you how I'm mixing too. So the first step, maybe I can zoom in. Oh, what just happened? We're gonna try to bring this down low. That's what we'll do. Got tripod adjustments going on here. Okay. Oh my gosh. You know, you've got to always expect the unexpected. Now we're having a slight earthquake. There we go. Okay. So, I forgot when I'm live, I can't do that. So I am actually going to take some white and we're going to work a lot of wet into wet paint. So we're just going to um, coat this and I'm going to coat it all the way down some white. I need to have somebody here reading comments to me. Valine's here. Hi. Okay. Um, okay, and then I am not even going to rinse my brush. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit of that blue. And I always just work in tiny amounts because I can always pick up more later. Okay, and I'm just going to work that down. Add some more at the top. I want to be a little bit darker. I'm going to put it all the way down into the lake area. See, and we'll have some time to chat because there's going to be some time when this needs to dry a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of that darker blue. Okay, maybe not this much. Hi, everybody that's saying hi. Uh, I'm going to get rid of some. 
And I'm going to start at the top of the rock. I just want the sky to be a little bit darker up here. Oh. We're going to get into some good color mixing too. That's a little bit too much. Okay, and I'm just going to work that back up and down just a little bit for the sky. I still want to keep some of that um, kind of like that tealish blue color in there, so. Okay. So, yeah, if you guys can see, can't see this. Am I sideways? Okay, no, I'm looking sideways. Okay, so I'm just mixing up some light stuff. So, want to be something like that one. So I'm going to get rid of that line. So, and again, everything's still super wet. And I haven't, <laughs> I haven't rinsed my brush yet, but I'm going to. Maybe. Okay. So that is the first part for the sky. Well, on my iPad, I am sideways. On my phone, I am the right direction. Let me see if I can fix this. Guys, am I sideways to you guys? Because I can move my phone around. Let me let me know if I'm sideways before I go anymore. Oh, Nancy, I do want to lick it. I'm not licking it today, though. I'm being good. going to be one of these tutorials. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay. Holy cow. Now, somebody let me know if that's all right. Is that better? I don't know how it got flipped. I hate being sideways. But now I get to put my, my arms through the tripod, which is the joy. Okay, so we got to let um, this part dry a little bit um, at, up here because we're going to add some other colors on it, but we can we can do something at the bottom. So I just picked up my filbert. It's that like flat tapered brush. So I think this is the one I'm going to use. Oh, don't tip over tripod. Okay. And I'm going to mix up. I've just added a tiny bit of the dark blue, so you guys can see this, into that um, tealish color that I had out. And I'm going to get a little bit of water. Maybe we could just a tiny bit darker. Okay. There. And we're going to decide where the horizon line is, so where the sky meets the earth. And we're just going to carefully drag a line. I probably should have used a different brush, so I just need kind of a thicker line. I'm going to get rid of my paint and I'm going to kind of just blend it in just a little bit. So I just wiped some of the paint off to blend it in. Okay, I think the, I think this is dry enough down here. So we're going to be working in some thinner layers. And I'm going to mix up, I'm going to get some white out. Oh my gosh. Well, we're going to have some purple on here. Didn't rinse my brush good enough and a little bit of this um, magenta. Might have to mix a new color if it turns brown or green. Yeah. I'm going to try that again. should always rinse my brushes better. Okay. That's a 
color we need later. Okay, so there's some white, tiny bit of the magenta. So we're going to try to keep this super light. And I always like to mix my color into my white. Um, it helps it so. Oh, if you guys want to, too, you can get an orange out. We're going to be using that. I'm just going to try mixing it. Okay. So I was going for a light orangey type color. Okay. And I'm just going to pull some across here. It's okay, however far you want to go. Um, if it gets kind of dark like that, you need it really, really light. Just hurry and pick up some white, and we can fix whatever. I'm just wiping off my brush in between. So this is kind of like the, the reflection. Try to mix up some brighter orange. Don't want it so yellow. I find that yellow is like really transparent and so whenever you put it over blue sometimes you get like a greenish tinge. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, and I'm just picking up some white. And I'm gonna work it in there a little bit. And I'm it's okay if you see some blue through. And we'll be working things back and forth in here. So there. So I'm actually gonna oh, I was gonna try to pick up some blue and fix that other side, but yeah guys, I'm gonna get out my orange going to make my life a little bit easier. So, okay. And I'm just using orange. So, and you'll see that this orange is super transparent too. So, I'm just going to put it over the top. Okay, and then I actually usually work on the sky and work down, so um, I'm going to use this smaller brush now, I think. I'm going to have to mix some white into this. You guys are making me nervous. Okay. So... And we're going to be adding like a really dark line in between, so don't worry about um, going over into your water at the bottom. So I'm just getting some more orange. I'm actually going to add a little bit of pink into it. Okay, and I'm just dragging lines across. You know, while this is still wet, I am going to pick up a tiny bit of white. Um, I'm using acrylics. Someone just asked that question, I just looked up. Um, I don't know about chalk. Maybe somebody can answer that. And I've used oil paints before. You just can't mix oils and acrylics. Well, you can put oils over the top of acrylics, but never vice versa. Okay, so i am just got some of that bright pink. And I'm just going to work it into there now. It's okay if your colors start blending on the brush because we're, we're trying to make a sunset. And that's kind of what I'm going for is like blendy, maybe some parts that are transparent. And I just went and picked up some straight white to work into there. And we're going to go back down here to make some of those colors a little bit darker. Just getting some white for up here. I'm going to just dip the tip of this brush into some water to kind of thin it out. 
some down in here, some over here. It's still not very dry. Hi, Brooke. Man, there's so many people I haven't met before joining. This is exciting and terrifying. Okay, um, I'm just going to go ahead and put in some darker magenta down here. So when you're doing sunsets, it's just kind of all about blending um, the colors in together. You know, if it gets too wet, like this is getting kind of wet down here. I can go work on the other side. And you don't have to push down very hard, and I'm just using the, the tip of that brush. Um, one thing up here is we can add some yellow um, later to some of these areas to kind of make it brighter. Um, I just don't want to do yellow over the blue, or it has a tendency to make a wonderful greenish color that I have to paint over. And yeah, I do that a lot. And then I'm just going to do some little lines up here because the clouds are fading. So, and these aren't just going to be white, they'll, they'll change. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks, Leanne. This will help. I'm going to mark where it needs to be. There we go. So I'm going to stop for a second, but what I was doing, um, just put these little light lines there and just kind of worked part of those colors up. And we're going to still like blend and add more up there too. So I'm going to get some more orange. I'm going to kind of make that like a magenta orange, red orange, more on the orange side. I'm so sorry guys. I'm glad I looked up at the other screen. See, now I know I've got to keep it between those blue dots. So, there we go. Okay, so I'm just adding some more dark orange. I like a reddish orange in places, so we'll be able to see a little bit better up here. And I think I'm going to get some more of that pink color because I'm liking that. And you'll see how transparent it is. I got some more. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. I start talking to myself. So, yeah, pulling some white through that pink. You see that? I'm going to put a little bit more white over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab some yellow. Oh, too much yellow. Okay. Yeah, you can't let your paint dry too fast, so you kind of have to work fast, but the, the one good thing is if you make a mistake, like I didn't like that yellow right there, you can always just go paint over it. So, you know, if it gets too thick, you can just be like, I wanted it that way. But I find once you, um, you spray it, kind of, I don't know, it makes everything look a little bit more even anyway. So, there we go. So, also, I just thin that out with some, some water. Okay, I hope my iPad doesn't die. Okay, so I'm going to put the sun in right now. We're still going to work on the clouds a little bit later. And it's just a little half circle in there. Now remember, we're going to be... Oh. Well, I guess it's, it's going down in a different way. Dang it. For the sun. While it's wet again, I'm just going to add some yellow. And we're going to come back and work on this. So the other one was the other direction, but that's okay. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some more orange. I'm going to mix this with a tiny bit of white. Let me, let me show you. might even add some yellow to it. So. Let's 
see this one. Like it's almost like a peach. I'm gonna just kind of bring it down over the sun, back up. I'm gonna look around for anywhere else I might want it. I just added some pink to it because I like these guys to have there you go, little pink edges. I'm trying just to barely touch the rock. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? It's working out okay. I think my iPad's gonna die. So I'm gonna bring these clouds over a little bit since we had a slight change of plan. So, just with some white. Ah! You guys should see me paint. I have the uh, iPad, or my arm, going through the middle of the tripod since I somehow mix things up. Okay. So... There we go. So I'm trying to keep everything to a minimum with the paint on here. Okay. So right along this edge, we're gonna do a little bit of purple. So to make my purple, I'm gonna use some magenta with this darker blue color. So it doesn't take very much blue at all. Now get me a nice purple. And I don't need a lot. And it should be fairly thin. Okay. Thanks, Judy. Am I like... There we go. So I'm just going to drag that. Oh, not thin enough. Here I'm actually going to water that down even a little bit more so I get a little bit more transparent. There we go. That. We're going to do a little bit over here. I think some of these clouds want to be a little bit darker up here. Maybe down here. I'll bring some into the water. Why not? And since this rock is becoming its own thing. There we go. And while well, that purple's still a bit over here, I'm adding more pink. Okay. There. Okay, and then I'm just picking up a little bit of white. I want to cover up the blue and the the sun and the yellow won't do that so I've got to do this first okay so there's the sunset part I think I think I like that so far um, one of the last steps I usually do is I will get a bunch of water um, pick a color thin it out I'm gonna use pink and see how thin this is I am going to just kind of add it up here. You guys can see what it's doing. It's just giving it an idea of like some of those high wispies. We're going to come back to that sun in a minute. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take some of that same color and put it down here. We're going to cover up part of that with our little grassy beach area. Okay. So now I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit of blue uh, right in here, a little bit of lighter blue over here. I'm using this really thin brush. So I'm getting out a little bit of white, a little bit of this turquoisey color. And it needs to be thinner. So I'm going to it in 
and try to just kind of get it somewhat even. Okay. So I'm going to take it. drag a little bit of it up through here. And I kind of want it thin so some of the other color shows through. Um, that's behind it. There. Sorry guys. I'm going to get my my tea. Thanks, Sue. Yeah, I'm I'm liking this one, even though it's completely changed from the rock I was going to do. But that's okay. It's still a sunset at a lake. Okay, so we're going to do this really dark line back here. Um, think of it as like hills out in the distance, and you guys are going to laugh when you see this and be like, why doesn't she just pull out black? Um, I don't know. I'm going to use this color for other things too. So I'm getting some blue, adding some of that green color. Some of my magenta. Until I get something, a little bit more blue some orange that resembles dark puke. Dark puke is a color. I've made it up. So I got this nice gray dark purpley puke. Sweet! Okay, got it on my brush, and I'm just going to drag a wiggly line across here. Dark puke! That's nice. Hi, Jenny. I just saw you pop up. Okay, so I made a lot of dark puke because we're going to need it for other things. So I'm going to get some orange and some white and a tiny bit of dark puke and a tiny bit of yellow. This is going to give us like a sandy brown color-ish. Yeah. Sandy brown color-ish. And then we're going to put in our little shore. And again, we're going to work this still while it's a little bit wet. So from here, I'm just going to grab some straight orange on the tip of here. Uh, what type? It's a zero. I Somebody gave it to me at a paint party. It is super small. Um, I believe it's a zero though. Let me, let me look at another one I use a lot of. Yeah, I would say it's a zero just by looking at some of my other ones. Um, yeah, it's probably zero with a really fine tip. This is an old zero, um, so it's looking similar. It just has a really tiny, tiny tip on it, so oh, I think my paint dried. That's okay. So I'm going to put some orange on here and then also I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit of white and work it in 
Oh, need some more of my sandy puke color. And if I don't, is it zero, zero, zero? Leanne knows. I think, did you give it to me, Leanne? Somebody gave it to me. Okay, my battery's dying. And again, guys, next time, it happened one time too, I was like, actually had to paint upside down. I'll get my, uh, this going right faster. So, and I really wouldn't need to use this one, but I'm lazy. So I'm just working some white in there. I could probably get away with using the other one I was using. Okay. So there's that. For now, we're gonna add a little bit in the front and stuff. Oh, we can do that now. I'm gonna go back to the puke color. And I'm just gonna, oh, water drop. I'm just gonna pick up this water drop. Hold on. Okay, so I went back to that um, dark color I made. And I'm just dragging a little bit across the bottom. Go into the turquoise blue color. And just gonna put a little bit down underneath that. Pull it out a little bit. Okay, next color. Um, I'm just gonna use some straight green for this, but we're gonna use a bunch of different colors for our plants. I think they're grass, I don't know. So um, I'm gonna turn the rock this way so I can do it. So a little bit more pressure here, less. And you're gonna see it's really transparent, but we'll fix that. So I'm just dragging lines up wherever I think I want these things. Just my straight green. I find that greens are really transparent, at least mine. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll take care of that later. There we go. Okay, going back to the dark puke color, picking a little bit of that up and mixing it with the green. Adding a tad of white to it. Okay, I don't know, I got like a dark sage color. Can you see that? And I'm gonna go right up along the same lines as best as I can. And these don't have to be perfect because they're grass. I don't know, they're plants. You can put somebody on the beach having a picnic. You can call her Nancy and be jealous that you're not there with her. Okay, I just added a bit of, of yellow in there. Right, I got this like nice army green color. And I'm just taking the tip. Oh, it needs to be lighter, so I'm going to add a tiny bit of white, see if that does it. And I find that yellow is transparent, so there we go. And I'll pull this up so you guys can see it. So you can start seeing a little bit of variation in there. So I'm going back to my dark puke and I'm just gonna add some little dark lines to it. It's closer for you guys. Paintbrush. Okay, I'm gonna get some dark green again in with that darker color I mixed up and I'm just gonna add a few little light lines, little lines in the front of this, 
some down here and we are almost done you guys I mean you could you could make it better I'm sure I'm gonna put a little bit of I'm just gonna add a little bit of orange down here for fun because you know I don't know why Oh, the puke color. I pretty much added all the colors together. So you got blue, green, and magenta. There we go. And you're going for almost like, it's going to look kind of black. A little bit more magenta in here. And this is a nice color the puke color to mix it with it. It's going to almost be like a gray. If I, if I put it on my plate, you know, you can see like that. This one, a little bit more blue in it. But it'll be a good color to darken up other colors with, except for yellow, because that will give us that color. Nice dark green. But that's what I call puke. It's kind of like a grayish blue color. Okay, so we're gonna go back up to the sun. Um, and I'm just getting some straight yellow. And I'm just gonna add a little thin layer up here. Okay. And then I'm grabbing some white and I'm gonna make this super light and I'm going to make this a little bit different so I'm just going to make these like reflection lines this way a little bit different than the first one um, the first one had like rays and then I'm mixing up some super light Hopefully super light yellow orange. Let's see if you guys should probably see that. Okay, almost like a peach color. It's almost white. needs more yellow okay here we go so close but yet so far away there needs a little bit of this up here in the Sun more of this yellow up here in the clouds I guess because because I can okay and then maybe sorry guys okay I'm gonna it's that watered down pink some light orange down here I want it to kind of look like it's a little bit behind the clouds there okay guys sorry my hand kept on getting in the way um, here's a rock I think it's pretty good you can see it's a little bit different than this one and it's a lot a little bit different than this one I'm sorry I got the Sun going the wrong way um, you could always put more um, I might do now. Kind of want some more clouds. This is just a little bit of pink and white and yellow. There. 
I like that better. Some more clouds up around it. So 14 of you may have made it. I am sorry about the, the backwardsness.